Today's video is on Cardi B featuring a Sharky B on Nickelodeon's Baby Shark. Hide your kids. Now, if you new here, what the fuck we do here is read, listen, watch, and we block talk, break that shit down. And yep, the attack on our kids continues, y'all. They got to create another materialistic, over-sexualized American bot, goddammit. America's most celebrated sex rapper, Cardi B is Shawky B on Baby Shark as Nickelodeon continues its quest to be America's number one white supremacist pedophilic production company with demonic Walt Disney sitting there clean at number one you know how they master subliminal messaging all in Little Mermaid god damn it if you don't know you better go find out warning if you unable to put your goddamn fanaticism to the side or any other bias you might have that can cause you to reject this message please leave this message ain't even for you god damn it because i accept every excuse you may have and in fact i'll raise you god damn it i'm broke i'm mad and i'm fucking hating because you know that classism is prevalently practiced amongst the most impoverished people on the motherfucking planet you are witnessing a rebel network check out the clip coming soon to nickelodeon she's the biggest star in the whole wide water she's sharky b every fish can do the silly swag do it how you want to do it sharky b way can baby and william help her rock out yeah, the silly swag, 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 i love you sharky without whipping out oh my gills oh my gills don't miss cardi b <gasps> wait what now yup in a special new baby shark april 15th only on nickelodeon oh, crap. Now you might be thinking, what's the problem with that block? You probably reaching this time. It seemed harmless, bruh. She have a distinct kid-friendly voice, so the kids gonna love her. On top of that, like you said, she America's most celebrated sex rapper, goddammit. So the adults, majority of them, is her fan base. And I say that the key words is adult and fan base, goddammit. She not the most celebrated sex rapper for nothing, goddammit. Cardi B videos and lyrics make Uncle Luke look like Kirk Franklin out here. Matter of fact, Cardi, how you feel about my assessment so far? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling nervous, overwhelmed, everything. <laughs> you feel it all right now. I feel it all. Ooh, butterfly <laughs> in my stomach and vagina. <laughs> okay. Uh Urgent message to Cardi B from the fax machine. Information overload. I will repeat, information overload. Y'all, did we have to hear that bullshit? Did we really have to fucking hear that, goddammit? You see who this character is? Do you see who this fucking character is, goddammit? So when you sitting down having that family moment with your child, and you say, look, there's Cardi B, the woman who voiced Sharky B on Nickelodeon, and she opened up her mouth, look what the hell she gonna say, y'all. Is that what you want in Influencing your child and I know some idiot sitting there right now saying it ain't Cardi B job to raise your kid and all of that bullshit you gotta raise your kid but think about it you idiot that's exactly what a parent is doing when they cut on channels like PBS Disney and Nickelodeon or what have you they think that they sending a child to a kid friendly space god damn it they don't expect sex to be lurking all over these fucked up uh cartoons and all of these depictions uh even the ones with regular real children and shit these days they be in adult like situations talking about having first kisses and everything but as a parent you sent them there thinking that they was in a kid friendly fucking place god damn it except now every other day that kid friendly place is being held up with choppers and everything but this time it ain't physical choppers and a K 47s or whatever you want to call it. It's Lil Nas X coming in to rob your fucking child. It's Megan the Stallion. It's Cardi B coming in to rob your kids or whatever values you probably try to instill in them. They come in to rob them of that bullshit and create the next wave of materialistic, over sexualized, easily influenced American bots out here. My logic is irrefutable and since I know how you think Say hello to a sicko. Hello, this is Dan Schneider, a.k.a. Dan Warp on Twitter. 
I'm here at Nickelodeon, where no open-toed shoes or sandals are allowed on stage. We're about to rehearse iCarly. At this moment, you're probably having a few thoughts. The first one is probably, damn, Block, you did just call that dude a sicko. Why? Shit, all he said, you know, was a few words. I don't see what's so bad about that, but I'm pretty sure you're going to tell us why. And that's a good thought to have. The second thought is probably, why in the fuck they got a sign on that door that say no open-toed shoes or sandals allowed during a goddamn I Call It rehearsal created by Dan Schneider, the dude who also created Fame, Head of the Class, all that, Keenan and Kel, The Amanda Show, Zoe 101, uh, Drake and Josh, shit, and Mo, goddamn it, I ain't about the name all that and just for your information you can go in my archive and find out a lot about drake from drake and josh that fool just got a slap on the wrist for allegedly grooming and molesting a 14 to 16 year old female victim god damn it which brings us back to your first start your possible first start sickos y'all these companies ain't shit but sicko safe havens tell me i'm wrong and if you did, I'm going to tell your ass this. Go ask Complex if I'm wrong. According to anonymous industry sources who spoke to Page Six, Schneider took a $7 million payout to leave. This comes as Deadline reports that Schneider would tweet photos of the feet of his young female stars. Page Six also points to more strange social media behavior, noting his habit of posting seemingly inappropriate videos of his actresses, including one of Ariana Grande in a revealing outfit dousing herself with water. and claim that Schneider was the real father of Jamie Lynn Spears' child born in 2007. I get to, I can put them in any horrible predicament I choose. Darn that I have a good time. <laughs> My logic is irrefutable. Did you hear that sick, perverted bastard, y'all? Did you hear that sick, perverted bastard? Now I ask you this, do you still think I'm reaching? Do you still think I'm reaching? That fool said he can put them in whatever horrible predicament he damn well pleases to people. That's what that nasty pervert just now said, y'all. I told you, these corporations ain't shit but a safe haven for these sick bastards, y'all. Sick bastards. Y'all know how long this man was doing that? Y'all heard all them shows that I just now read off? This man have a long career with Nickelodeon, goddammit. We don't know what he did to so many children on this goddamn planet. But anyway, I would say that art imitates life or Life imitates art, but in this case, y'all, call it what the fuck it is like we do on BTN. Pedophilic pornography placed in production by the white powers that be, goddammit. And these corporations, self-described as entities, are the fucking powers that dictate. And y'all notice, they stay paying off these stupid paid-for-ass uh, politicians. I know you ain't stupid enough to believe in Republicans and Democrats and you a grown-ass person out you. Don't tell me you really believe in that bullshit with... A uh, lobbyist that fucking exists. Do you know what the fuck a lobbyist is? I know a lot of y'all know what it is, but let me still break it down. A lobbyist is a motherfucker who go meet up with these politicians and pay their ass to do whatever the fuck they want. And we ain't talking no small money. These people have more money than the fucking American government. So, so please, if you dumb enough to believe in a Republican or a Democrat saving your life, you really need to sit your naive ass down look how this man had ariana grande pouring water on herself making that kid put a fucking foot in her mouth because he have a goddamn foot fetish now you know exactly what that motherfucker talking about when he said what i can put them in whatever horrible y'all predicament i please whatever why would you want to put the kids in a horrible predicament you're fucking evil why why wouldn't you say i could put these kids in so many great predicaments you know inspiring predicaments anything he wants to put the kids in horrible fucking predicaments 
payments. But I told y'all, these corporations ain't shit but safe havens for sickos, y'all. Talking about their private entity, the definition of entity, a thing with a distinct and independent existence, y'all. A organization, a institution, a establishment. Okay, that sounds right. But then what they go on to say, body, existence, being, life, living, not okay. A corporation does not have a life. It is not a being. And it's damn sure ain't breathing, y'all. But when you fucking control politicians, you control definitions around this motherfucker. When you control them politicians, you control definitions. And you can call that shit whatever the hell you want. So if you want to dodge a lawsuit, you can call that shit a private entity. That way, oh, you ain't suing me. You suing the corporation, goddammit. You see how that bullshit go? Do you see how that bullshit go? Continue. What is a corporation? A corporation is a legal entity that is separate and distinct from its owners under law, a.k.a. white supremacist law of the land. Corporations possess many of the same rights and responsibilities as individuals. Some refer to corporations as a legal person. Ain't that about a bitch? Now you tell me it ain't somebody controlling the politician who write the goddamn laws, y'all. They just not called a corporation a legal person y'all a legal person by the way don't that fucking definition sound similar don't it sound similar to the definition of entity in the definition of entity they set up and told us it's a thing that's separate and distinct a thing that is separate and distinct now we go to the definition of a corporation and it says it's separate and distinct from its owners y'all a legal fucking person ain't that something so if they both the same uh definition y'all they both similar don't that make them interchangeable don't that make them interchangeable y'all interchangeable capable of replacing or changing places with something else permitting mutual substitution without loss or functional suitability which means that a corporation qualifies as an entity, y'all. So if a corporation qualifies as an entity and I qualify as an entity, don't I also qualify as a goddamn corporation? Shouldn't I be able to go directly to the bank and apply for business loans, grants, government funding, shit, maybe even subsidies? You know how they get that to every damn corporation. They love that corporate handout that that corporate entitlement program that nobody reports on, even though it costs the taxpayers way more money than welfare and social security combined, goddammit, more than social security and welfare combined. I did the research, go in the archive, goddammit, and if Nickelodeon, y'all, is a corporation, that mean they're an entity, y'all, and entities can be arrested. Who the fuck gonna arrest that fool Nickelodeon? Because he got a long ass history of rape and churn. He got a long fucking pedophilic history out here of producing fucking pornography to me. That shit come directly on TV. You saw the clips making that girl put a fucking foot in her mouth. He said he can put them in any horrible position he wanted to, y'all. That man is telling you that his life is in his art and his life is fucking pedophilic feel you y'all so who gonna arrest the fucking entity nickelodeon y'all ain't that a bitch who the fuck gonna arrest nickelodeon y'all matter of fact look at what he doing now which brings us back to cardi b they sitting up there getting a fucking adult sex rapper to influence your kid getting your kids to be influenced by a fucking celebrated sex rapper out here boy this shit is really getting despicable in america y'all my logic is irrefutable and you can go to nor jasmine to check out some more eels of fucking nickelodeon if you please but check this out because it's always more of course there is there was a nickelodeon productions assistant called jason michael handy and in his own private journal Jason Michael Handy described himself in his own words as, quote, a pedophile, comma, 
full blown period. You are witnessing the rebel network, people. Don't think that Nickelodeon was unaware of these actions, y'all. The man described himself as a full-blown pedophile. That mean ain't no shame in this game. And to me, he shouldn't even be allowed to give comments. He should be put under a jail. But he described himself as a full-blown pedophile, which means that he boastful about his pedophilia out here, y'all about his pedophilia and he worked at a Malibu church. I hope he ain't sitting next to some fucking kid right now because he probably out. I wonder, I ain't read the rest of that article, goddammit, but knowing him, he probably walk in the streets and this California, goddammit, he probably walk in the streets right now getting more emails from probably child actors still and email addresses, phone numbers or what have you. Look at what it said he used to do sell little girls hopes and dreams and shit about being on Nickelodeon. Now do y'all understand why Cardi B and other entertainers have the most colorful videos and clothes? Why they sitting on shiny horses with Elton John, Lil Nas X? That's because they have to do the same thing as the cartoons, y'all. They gotta attract and keep the attention of children, y'all. That way they can make the next American bot Filled with sex, money, materialism, and hedonism around this motherfucker. It go from your kids sitting up there cutting on baby shark to loving Sharky B to loving Cardi B to becoming baby Cardi. Ain't that a bitch? Not in my house. Once again, y'all holler at me.